Nadia Sawala, 58, has laughed at Meghan Markle's claim she didn't Google Prince Harry when they started dating. In the pair's Netflix documentary, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex give fans an insight into the earlier days of their relationship and how things changed after they got married. Reviewing the first episode alongside her husband Mark Adderley, the Loose Women star asked why Meghan doesn't just admit she did Google him. On her YouTube channel, she said, I just want to say two things. First of all, why doesn't Meghan just admit she did Google Prince Harry? There isn't a single person in the world who, dating a prince or princess, wouldn't Google them. Jane Fonda shares cancer update as she stops treatment so, I thought that was a sweet moment that she's still saying she didn't Google him once she was going out with him, she added, laughing. The presenter went on to say she felt differently about the pair after watching the first episode. She explained, I've always adored Harry and I felt differently through watching this. It wasn't a sob story and it wasn't vicious and they seemed like a perfectly happy couple. Nadia went on to share her thoughts on why she believes Brits may not like Meghan. Putting to one side racists, of which there are many in every part of the world, I think a lot of people don't take to Meghan because of her Americanism, she's filled. I love the Americanism in America, it's just alien to Brits. She also admitted she got teary while watching the show but also thought the first part was cringe. Dot Paul O'Grady gets kiss from Camilla despite Meghan's affection claim, revealed Margot Robbie leaves little to the imagination at Babylon premiere, pictured Helen Skelton truly believes she can win strictly, opinion, Mark went on to say Meghan wasn't like the typical American he knew, adding, when I hear her talk, I automatically cringe and that's nothing to do with her. As a whole however, Nadia said it was a very well done documentary. Harry and Meghan gave fans an insight into never seen before moments of their life from when they first started dating, to their wedding day and family life. The pair also detailed what went on behind the scenes in the lead up to them eventually leaving the royal family. Harry revealed how the family meeting discussing their decision to step back resulted in shouting. He told the camera, I went in with the same proposal that Wed already made publicly, but once I got there I was given five options, one being all in, no change, five being all out. I chose option three in the meeting, half in, half out have our own jobs but also work in support of the Queen. He went on to claim that Prince William did not react well to the suggestion that he and Meghan wanted to remain part-time royals. It became very clear very quickly that goal was not up for discussion or debate, the Prince added. It was terrifying to have my brother scream and shout at me and my father say things that just simply weren't true. And my grandmother, you know, quietly sit there and take it all in. The couple, who married in 2018, now live in America with their two children, Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 1.